Hello, good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel. How are we all doing today? So, tonight I'm going to be doing something that's, well, it's funny, it's comedy, again. Uh, it's funniest game show answers of all time. And, uh, yeah, this sort of thing, it's, you can pretty much bet that it's going to be funny. And um, it's quite a popular topic for people to react to and check out, so I thought, yeah, it's my turn. Let's do it, shall we? I'm wondering which game shows will be on here, but if it's like all countries, uh, like English speaking countries, so the UK as well, I'm expecting to see a lot of the chase on here, because that's where you get a lot of funny things happening. For those of you that don't know, the chase is a quiz show that we have here in the UK. And uh, there's a lot of funny answers and funny things that happen on it. So, yeah. If it's including UK quiz shows, uh, game shows, quiz shows, whatever, I'm expecting to see that on it. But, who knows? You never know. So, I guess we just get into it. So please like the video if you enjoy it. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. And don't forget to check us out on the Patreon because we've now officially started our, you know... The first of the three new shows that we've got going, Blackadder, the first episode, is now available on there. I tried to upload it onto YouTube, but it was blocked, so I guess that's, you know, that says, that tells me what that's going to be like. It's just going to keep getting blocked. Even though some randomer with, like, 100 subscribers has uploaded all the episodes on their channel. Don't know what they, how they managed to do it. Um, so, yeah. Um, but we've got a lot of stuff going on there. You can join from $1 a month, and you get a 7-day free trial in all tiers from the $2 Right up until the brand new tier, which is, I think I've set it at six fifteen ninety nine a month. Um, yeah, so go check that out. Let's go. During what month of pregnancy does a woman begin to look pregnant? September. <laughs> September! <laughs> September! <laughs> to name something you wouldn't try even once. Matthew. Sex on a train. <laughs> Sex on a train. Nick, <laughs> Nick, <laughs> <laughs> enough, our survey people didn't come up with that one. Really? Peter Burglar would not want to see when he breaks into a house. A lion. Right. Naked grandma. Naked, huh? <laughs> Did he just say naked grandma? <laughs> not just a burglar. Nobody wants to see that at all. <laughs> Oh, naked grandfather. Nobody wants to see any of that shit. I don't want to see that either. <laughs> Real or fictional? Name a famous Willie. Willie the Pooh? <laughs> Hi, Kat. Hi. You know John? Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, uh, pretty <laughs> dimples there, John? <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, pretty dimples. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Yeah, pretty dimples there, John. Yes, we do. <laughs> Doesn't she have pretty nipples? Uh, <laughs> pretty dimples there, John. Gentlemen, tell me, what is your favorite part of our newlywed game set? Jim? Probably wife number two. <laughs> Not a look. You're getting a divorce. <laughs> Name a piece of clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. <laughs> clothing wives buy for their husbands. Halter tops. I can't... can't tell what she's saying. Buy for their husbands. Halter tops. <laughs> Halter tops? What? I don't know what she's saying. Or what it means if it's what I'm, what I think she's saying. Someone explain that, please. Edgar, fish love. <laughs> Sorry, Jenny. Wish list. <laughs> Name something you feel before you buy it. Excited. A vegetable you marinate. Grapes. <laughs> Grapes. <laughs> Name something. 
chlorinating grapes. <laughs> grapes. <laughs> I mean, you squash them before you turn them into wine, but you don't marinate them. <laughs> Name something you might buy that could turn out to be phony. Yeah. Don't say a, fo a telephone. A horse. A horse? <laughs> the dreaded phony horse gag. Name something that can kill a lively party. A gun. A gun! <laughs> the most romantic sound. Only in America. <laughs> Sounding musical instrument. Girl. Most romantic sounding musical instrument. Romantic. Drone. Drone. Name something you might accidentally leave on all night. Yes. Your shoes. <laughs> Name something you might leave on accidentally all night. Your shoes. <laughs> Name something people take with them to the beach. Turkey. Turkey! The first thing you buy in a supermarket. Uh, turkey. <laughs> Food often stuffed. Turkey. Describe these words that begin with the letter... That had to be set up. No way. <laughs> Mind you, no, how could it be? Because how would they know that he was going to say turkey to name something you take to the beach? <laughs> But the, the the next two that that was perfect. Turkey. <laughs> Turkey. Describe these words that begin with the letters S T A. Go. Ouch. Oh no, I'm sorry. With the knife, I. <laughs> we asked a hundred people to name a game you can play in bed. Steve, I spy. I, I spy. <laughs> Something you squeeze. Peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> What would be the idea? Did she just say the F word on TV? <laughs> <laughs> what would be the ideal everyday temperature? Everybody, this. Uh, I'm no prude, but I f that's making me feel a bit uncomfortable the way he's holding her. That, you wouldn't see that today on a game show, would you? wouldn't see Bradley Walsh with a female contestant, you know, holding out. Oh, that, that, I find that weird. Is that just me? Drobe! 98.6. What did you say? Everyday temperature. Everybody, disrobe. 98.6. Survey said. People, your time starts now. A group of pill pushers? <laughs> <laughs> pill pushers? <laughs> Name a yellow fruit. Orange. <laughs> <laughs> Name a yellow fruit. Orange. <laughs> she ain't got it. <laughs> Name something that comes in pairs. Fred. Bananas. Oh, God. <laughs> we asked a hundred people to name a famous Arthur. Kenny. Um, Shakespeare. Arthur Shakespeare. Arthur oh. Shakespeare. <laughs> <laughs> name something that follows the word pork. You pine. Huh? <laughs> pork you pine. No. <laughs> you dickhead. <laughs> I like that. Uh, yeah, I can tell that's a guy with a good sense of humor. <laughs> Name something that starts with the word pork. You pine. <laughs> nice one. That follows the word. Follows the word pork. You pine. You pine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You pine. <laughs> Steve Harvey's just like. <laughs> what do I do? Gentlemen, other than popcorn, what is your favorite thing to nibble on at the movies? Steve? Ooh, I'm gonna get shot. Oh. Her boobs, I don't know if you... <laughs> Name a part of the body that gets bigger as adults get older. Freddy, penis. <laughs> Name something a man has that he'd be... <laughs> no, 
unfortunately, no. I mean, I mean, technically, yeah, I mean, okay. The first 18 years of your life, I suppose it does, but after that, it's just downhill from there. <laughs> Upset if someone else used it. How about his jockstrap? <laughs> How many decades will your husband say his mother has lived? Gloria. Ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Gentlemen, how many decades has your mother lived? Daryl, you have a troubled look on your face. What's the matter? Oh, I don't know what a decade is. <laughs> you don't know what a decade is? Okay. Fourth birthday, so she'd be good. It's four years a decade. She'd be ten decades. Ten decades. <laughs> Something usually done only once a week. Uh, make love. Tell me a slang term that means Bob, wife, Luka. bitch. Oh. <laughs> Tell me a slang term that means wife, bitch. <laughs> is that another one where he's on the show with his wife? Term that means wife. Oh no, bitch, <laughs> bitch. Oh, good answer. Name something you wouldn't want the police to find in the trunk of your car. Pickles. <laughs> Name something a teenage boy can do for hours at a time. Masturbate. <laughs> <laughs> something that has to warm up before you use it, sir. How about your wife? <laughs> Mary Beth prayed for snow on her wedding day. Yes, I did. It was 32 degrees and no snow on my wedding day, but I had eight inches on my honeymoon. <laughs> then the part of the body everybody has only one of. Sarah. Big toe. Big toe! We've got two! What your husband says his favorite thing to squeeze in the supermarket. Jane? I say his meat. Pardon me? His meat. Right. Give me a slang name for policeman. Dick. Dick. What did you say? Dick. Okay. Maybe see what he said. Nope. Name a state that begins with the letter M. Mexico. Just a hundred people to name a game you could play in the back. Name a state that begins with the letter M. Mexico. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on, man. I don't know many states that begin with M, but th I, Maine. That's a state, right? Not a city. Maine. Uh, Maine. I, I'm sure there's another one. Massachusetts is a city. Oh, I don't know. Mexico. With the letter M. Mexico. Just a hundred people to name a game you could play in the bath. Annette. Scuba diving. Scuba diving! <laughs> Something your neighbor has you wish you had? A beautiful wife. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Forgot to turn my ad blocker on. <laughs> name a kind. A bear. Harmon. Papa bear. A papa bear. Of course. <laughs> Only a papa bear. Name something London is famous for. London. I'm thinking pasta. <laughs> pasta! Name a question such as How old are you? <laughs> yeah. 18. <laughs> <laughs> Eighteen. No. Yeah, are you I'm kidding? Not no, you're not. You're not? No. You certainly fooled me. Just a second. I'm gonna read the question. Name questions such as how old are you? That you might answer with a lie. You uh I would say fifty. <laughs> <laughs> I 
get out and understand it right. No, sweet Mesra. I don't understand. Give me another sort of question that you might lie about. I would say it's, I'm 39. <laughs> Most of the electricity in our home flows from the blank to the what? From the plug to the vibrator. <laughs> what? The girl should know. Too personal. Wow. No, you can't say that on television. The power in your home basically runs from the plug to the what? The vibrator. <laughs> okay. From the plug to the vibrator. <laughs> what a girl should know about a man before she marries him. Oh, this will be good. You just got it, Lynn. What would you what would you say? His name. His what? Name. His name! His name! His name! <laughs> Name something made of leather? Yes, sir. A purse. You're going to be slightly embarrassed when I finish this question. A purse! <laughs> Name something made of leather that a cowboy uses. <laughs> describe the weather with a word or phrase that would also describe your wife. Wet. Wet. Name an animal whose eggs you'd probably never eat for breakfast. Hamster. Hamster. Hamster eggs! <laughs> Name something in your house you would yell at if it stopped working. Probably spouse. <laughs> uh, an old woman's... So far I've just seen a bunch of men that after they'd been on this game show, they were getting beat up when they got home because they're just absolutely wrecked. Ragging on their wives. <laughs> name something that you would yell at if it's in your home. That name something in your home that you would yell at if it stopped working. Spouse. <laughs> Jesus. Breasts. <laughs> uh, an old woman's breasts. Things, Things that sag. Old Please, woman's you might stay indoors on a beautiful wow. day. Uh, because it's raining. Something made of wool. Sheep. Sheep! <laughs> Something made of wool. Sheep. <laughs> Police commissioner said, I think Batman and Robin are blank. Queer. Name a day of the year when you really want to be with friends. I mean, yeah. <laughs> they do spend a lot of time together, don't they? Friends. <laughs> December. God, if that was a modern game show and she said that, she would be all over the, you know, she'd be on the Guardian's front page on the website, she'd be on the fucking Daily Mail's front page, the Independent's front page, Jesus, the Telegraph's front page, all over, uh, she'd be killed for that these days. Name a day of the year when you really want to be with friends. December. <laughs> Name something normally worn only by children. Michael. Clothes. <laughs> we asked a hundred... Yeah, because adults just walk around naked. <laughs> oh, God. Women name something. Women borrow from each other. Chris. One another's husbands. Their husbands, Chris. Next question, gentlemen. What is the one thing the people on the other side of your street have more of than you do? Money. Cars. Cars. Your wife said they have more more grass than you do. Grass. Grass. I, I wouldn't bet on that. <laughs> grass. What's the name? A famous robber. Joe. Um, cops. I said name a... T okay. Game show host said, name a famous robber. Game contestant said, cops. Give me strength, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Joe. Um, cops. I said, name a time that most people get up. And being the Einstein that you are, <laughs> You said, said morning. Morning! When I get up, our survey said zip. 
Oh, now, if that wasn't bad enough, I then said, name a time that most people go to bed. Midnight. You said, of course, night. night. Our survey said two. Two! Two you know, people what is said so night. Great about this show, we have talented people like the Ramiro family on our show. Paul is a concert pianist. Steve, what do you do? <laughs> I sell frozen bull semen for artificial insemination. Right, 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 Steve. How you doing? How are you? Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls' pants. I manufacture <laughs> pants. <laughs> All right. That is the best way I've ever heard someone describe their job. What do you do? Well, I'm in young girls' pants. I design girls' lingerie. <laughs> I'm in young girls' pants. like that. I mean young girls pants I design women's lingerie. Oh my good Christ. How are you doing? All right, bro. Fine, thank you. What's your story? Well, I, I'm in young girls pants. I manufacture <laughs> pants. I manufacture pants. I'm part of the telephone. The bottom part. <laughs> One of the three bears. Yogi. A <laughs> Yogi bear. <laughs> Name something with a hole in the middle. Michelle? I don't know. Hole punch. Hole punch. <laughs> I know everyone in America said what the audience did. What she say? Okay, fill them in. You. No. That's Musky correct. sauce. Right. Fill the blanks in order or pick a tile, Chris, whatever you want um, to do. Like okay, fill them in. I. Musky sauce, really? Okay. Fill them in. A. Wrong. Come on now. Mosquitoes, 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 really? Come on, America. I've never had this happen. It's the first time. Chris? I know it. You know it? All right. Fill it in. Oh, yes. And I. Yes. T. Yes. E. Yes. So. Oh. Oh. I made a hundred people and asked them to name a way of toasting someone. Michelle. Over a fire. <laughs> if you could travel to any foreign country in the world, where would you go? Uh, Pakistan. Um, uh, uh, I take wrap rubber bands around my t-shirt and stick it in... Tie-dye? Yes. Um, uh, these are the ugly sandals that lesbians wear. Uh, perfect uh -huh. yeah. These are the ugly sandals that lesbians wear! <laughs> That's the show that Joey went on in Friends. <laughs> you put this in your coffee, your hands, your face! <laughs> a spoon, a hand! <laughs> Put this in a sandwich. Salami, anchovies, jam. <laughs> a rock, a dog, the earth. Paper, snow, a ghost. <laughs> that was the funniest skit in the entire show. Apart from, uh, oh, I can't think. No, it was one of the funniest. I'm probably forgetting another one that was even funnier. But that was up there. That's in my top three all time best friends parts. But I can laugh. No, Joey speaking French. That that's my favourite part of the whole show. I can laugh at that episode non-stop as many times as I want. I just what, what does he say? Je <laughs> m'appelle Claude. Je de coupe plow. Je de plume nous. Je le plow. Mais la pie. On plow. <laughs> anyway, should we get back into it? <laughs> what was the most infantile suggestion you made to your wife on your first date, Joe? Uh, why don't you eat something? All right. Patty says the most infantile suggestion was that, uh, that I, she should, shouldn't be so closed-minded. I should be looser, you know. Uh, you, you were gonna... loose enough that night. Uh, Joe! What country has the highest ratio of doctors to population? 
the country with the most Jews? <laughs> I would say Israel. Wow. You have a doctor in every family. It's a cousin, could be an uncle, a couple of specialists. I'll agree. You agree with that? It's Israel. He's right. It is? Oh, it's right. Something you wash once a week. Claudia. Yourself. Yourself. <laughs> Something people close. Legs. <laughs> Man of the world, traveled all over the world. Something Russia is famous for, Bob. Russians. <laughs> Something Russia is famous for. Russians. <laughs> That's a bit obvious. Go on. <laughs> name an animal with three letters in its name. You said <laughs> frog. Our survey said zero. Two people would have to say that. Something that comes with a summer storm, you gave me the answer. <laughs> Snow. Our survey said... Remind everyone, to Bob's shame, the answers he gave us. And give me 20 seconds on the clock, please. Name an animal with three letters in Cat, its name. dog. Alligator. Alligator! <laughs> okay, I just can't... How do you come to that answer? You can't, you can't, you can't excuse that by saying, "Oh, he's on a game show. He's nervous. You know, you know, you're aware that you haven't got much time." Blah blah blah. Or do you, no, name an animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. Really? Come on. Oh. It's literally the first animal that literally ninety-eight percent of humans imagine in the West, at least. This is America, so it's the West. If someone said, just name an animal, nine people out of ten are going to say cat or dog. Alligator. Really? Jesus Christ. Animal with three letters in its name. Alligator. <laughs> name an animal with three letters in its name. You said alligator. <laughs> Our survey said... Thank fuck no one else said that. Any, oh, that's the end. <laughs> oh, I was hoping that they'd go through every answer that the other guy gave. Oh, well, never mind. Yeah, that was, <laughs> that was really funny. Oh, God, there's some really dumb people in America, isn't there? Just, yeah. Mind you, there, weren't, there were a few from the UK as well. There was the UK... Is that Family Fortunes where they, you know, name something, blah, 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 and then they're like, our survey says... Cause, we had family fortunes where they get... What, what's his name? Des O'Connor, is it? Somebody he did family fortunes. He had, like, a, a northern accent. Yeah. So that's what that show was there. Mm. Yeah, it was funny. <laughs> Alligator. Really? Come on. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm going to... Close this one out quickly so I don't want it be, to be too long. So, thanks everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Please recommend more content like this. If you're a patron of mine, then, uh, you know, you're, you're allowed to make requests. Um, if you want to make a request and you're not one of my patrons, then you have to make a paid request on the Buy Me A Coffee page. There's a link in the description of every video. Um, because we've got that much content at the moment. I just can't say free requests. I just can't. Um, but please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, guys. And like the video. And go and check out the uh, other content that I've done. Not like this, but you know, similar to this. I don't have I ever done anything. I don't think I have actually. But anyway, I'm sure you'll find something that you like. You know, in, on the channel, there's all sorts going on over there. So go and have a look. Uh, that was really funny. <laughs> oh God! I mean, young girls. <laughs> that was bad. Wow. Yeah. So, thanks everybody for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.